I'm here with winemaker Brad Grimes of David Abreu Vineyards and we're in the Capella Vineyard. And give us the dope here on what's going on in one of the four vineyard sources that we're gonna to tour today. So uh, this is the vineyard that we have right here on the west side of St. Helena. Madrona is just to the north of us, but this is right in town. It's uh, a little less than six acres, um, two mirroring sections, about four acres of Cabernet, uh, another acre and a third of Cabernet Franc, and two thirds of an acre of Petit Verdot. Uh, so we take this portion for the Capella wine. All gravelly loam soil planted in 2000. There's been a lot of replanting in California in the 90s, and sometimes they're, they're about 15, 20 years apart. Capella was planted three years, replanted three years apart. There was a first replant, right. a first planting in 97. Tell us about that. Right, it was just some bad plant material and sort of just some, I think, sloppy nursery work with some vines that shouldn't have been intermixed with, we had Cabernet mixed with Merlot, and it was just a, David likes consistency mm -hmm. and won't, wouldn't tolerate anything like that. So uh, yeah, it was uh, quickly pulled out and then uh, replanted. Right back in, okay. Cabernet Sauvignon was the majority here. A little Cabernet Franc, a little Petit Verdot. Yep. And the wine gets you that kind of, you was talking about that rich character from the St. Helena terroir. I mean, I think more recently because these vines are growing up, so we're now past 20 years old. breadth, depth, sort of broadness to the wine, but still that that nice kind of gravelly texture, I would say, in the, in the tannins, which you know, I, I, I like, I like that, I like intense wines, um, and so yeah, just in the past three or four years, I've noticed that the wine is getting a little bit more broad, and I just, I, I think that's just because of the Okay, and where are we going to next? Madrona. 